And you guys see my screen? Okay, good. So uh, today we're going to be lo looking at data visualization uh, using Google Sheets. So just to go through it as a intro, Google Sheets, I you know it, is an online spreadsheet tool by Google, and it's accessible uh, for anyone uh, and anywhere with internet access. So this means it can be available anywhere we go, and uh, it supports collaborative work. So it's an ideal tool that can be used for data analysis and so many things right now. So the reason that we use uh, Go Go Google Sheets uh, in recent days is the ability or its capability of real-time co collaboration. So you and your team can work on the same project at the same time uh, parallelly when using Google Sheets. And it's it can be uh, integrated with other go Google services easily. And its uh, interface is very uh, familiar and easy. So that's about Google Sheets. And data visualization is a graphical presentation of data. Uh, which we use to facilitate insights and understanding. Uh, as you know, uh, when we're working in the real world, uh, the data we find or we get is uh, maybe a thousand or ten thousand or even in millions uh, of rows. So these num numbers uh, can be overwhelming. So we use uh, graphical representations such as these visual tools to make them easier to understand and remember. So uh the importance of this uh, data vi visualization is the simplicity uh, in order to have a simplified uh, of the data the complex data that's presented to us and it will support us in decision ma ma making especially in the financial world in other uh, uh, markets actually and it identifies trends, patterns, and outliers. This also helps us in the decision-making process, and it makes it easy to communicate hard uh, information easily and effectively with the, to the audience. So this uh, powerful tool is uh, easily converting raw numbers into for formats that's easy to understand and anal analyze. So uh, the goal of Data visualization is to communicate complex da data clearly and efficiently. It's the main goal. Uh, and it will, uh, as uh, I've said earlier, it will help us make a better and informed decisions when we use data analysis, especially. And it makes it easier to identify a relationship when we use correlations. Does it have a positive correlation? Does it have a negative correlation? Or does it have, or it doesn't have any correlation for that matter? So it also helps us grab uh, a lot of complex ideas and concepts and actually uh, transfer that idea to the audience because most of the, the time, the audience that, are, uh, that we are going to be presenting our work or our findings are not that, that much of the technical side or doesn't know about the market that much. So this data visualization helps us communicate with them with ease. And it also uh, helps us to spot traits uh, that might not be up easily identified without by, by looking at the raw data. So uh, yeah, that's the goal of data visualization in short. So when we come to data visualization, we have a lot of uh, many actually uh, chart types and choosing the right chart is a crucial step in the data visualization step or process, we can call it. So uh, I have listed around five uh, chart types and when to use them and how, when is the best time to use them and uh, how we are going to use them and some of the results that we may expect from them. So starting from bar charts, bar charts, as you know, that idea for comparing categories. So we, we, we might have, different categories, Let, let's say we might have a gender category, we, uh, there, there is a male and a female uh, category, and we want to know, let's say, uh, the average pay. 
because we want to understand if there is a pay gap in the company or the employee data. So we might use the bar charts for this purpose. And when we are we came to the line chart, it's ideal for showing print over time. Uh, like, for instance, we can say, uh, again, let me come back to the employee da data. And if we want to use to know uh, how a certain uh, ethnicity of an employee uh, would behave when it comes to something like uh, like the money or something, we, we, we are going to see examples later, and I just want to give you some insights about it. So line charts are used to show how uh, the trend uh, shows how things are going with time. And the scatter chart or the scatter plot is used to identify relationship between variables or between col columns. So these columns, the result of this uh, chart, could be a positive correlation, which means they both go, uh, they both grow or fall with each other, and the negative correlation, which means that uh, they don't have a positive uh, relation. When one rises, the other falls, and no relation or no correlation means no relation with one other. Another. So uh, when exploring uh, relationship between variables scatter plot is the best or the ideal thing to do and histograph uh, histogram is uh, another type of chart uh, histograph yeah so it shows the shape of the data distribution because we want to know how well di distributed the data is so the result can be a normal di distribution when uh, the shape of the histogram is a bell shape it's cute, it's a bell shaped, but it's cute to the left or to the right, we will see. And uniform distribution, this is rare, but uh, you can't imagine a coin toss, which means it has equal opportunity for every uh, outcome and by model. And uh, the last chart that I wanted to highlight was the pie chart. So the pie chart is based for representing portions as a whole. So uh, you have to be mindful of which uh, chart you have to use or you will use in the, your job or your analysis. So for your work, uh, when you dive deep into the uh, charts or the, the data, you, will go, you are going to need, oh, uh, is that equation? Yeah, you can go. All right, so uh, I was going to ask, is this slide um, available for us in the document sent to us yesterday? Uh, no, uh, the uh, slides are going to be shared after the sessions. After each session, the slide will be All shared right. in the folder. OK, so uh, this is it for now. Uh, any questions? Do you have any? questions from what we have seen. Anyone? OK, Shalom. Oh, OK, I so um, good morning. Good morning. My good question morning. is, um, how do I, how, how will I be able to identify which of the visualization I should use, either the bar chart, pie chart, based on the challenge we have? That's my yeah. question. Okay, good question. Good question. So, uh, as I've said, uh, the reason that I wanted to show you which, uh, how we can choose the right chart is because you are, it's de it depends on what you are trying to look for. So if you are trying to look for uh, uh, relations between, le let's say, the wind spin and the precipitation, you could use the line chart or the bar chart. When If you are trying to uh, compare categories, you can use a bar chart. So it's an open-ended question. Like, it's not use this one, just like it's a tool. And if you know 
uh, how the tool works, it's easier for you to know when to use it, right? So that's uh, what we are trying to do. So it's an open-ended question. So uh, what do you want to do? The question would be uh, right back to you. What do you want to do? Like if you want to show uh, what, how many or what section of the whole is something, you may use a pie chart. Did I answer your question or? Hello, I think. Well, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, other questions? Um, okay. So uh, I actually got, um, let me share. Okay. Yes, so we need, yeah. Uh, greetings to you all. Okay. Uh, so you? I need some clarification. Um, okay. I think with the Google Sheets, it's yeah. going to be done on Google, but there's a section in the scenario given yesterday mm -hmm. that requires us to come up with the report. Are we to That's do the report on, like, in Word on um, on Google, or we can do it offline yeah. and then later upload? How yeah. does the trend go? Yeah, uh, great question again. So, uh, so the reason that we are going to use Google Sheet is because it's easy to integrate with other Google services, right? So you can easily copy and paste your findings to your uh, Wordis doc file and write your report. So you you just you are going to use this uh, Google Sheet, sorry, uh, just to extract insights and do the analysis and you will write your report on the doc side on the doc uh did i answer your quick question or? okay so everything will be done online yeah because it's ai but you can do it offline if you want but okay. uh, personally i would uh, advise you to do it online because it is easy to integrate you just you can just copy and paste it and you can even connect it so I think it will be easier. All right, thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, the next one, Gitare, I think. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, hello, uh, it's yeah. Gitare. <coughs> Gitare, okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, I came a bit late by five minutes. So I'm sorry if uh, the question I'm asking is something that you have talked about. It's about uh, Google okay. Sheet. Eh? Okay. Uh, okay. How how do you go about like how how do we you know what is a Google Sheet? Eh? Okay, a uh, Google Sheet is another uh, a service uh, or a service by Google. You can find it if you have a Google account. It's an online uh, online spreadsheet tool by Google, and you you can use it from anywhere if you are with internet if you have internet you can use it anywhere and it supports this uh, collaborative work so the main thing that we are going to use uh, google sheet is this one these three things real-time collaboration and real-time collaboration means uh, you and your team can work on google sheet at the same time on the same da da data without conflicting with each, each other so that's the main uh, thing and seamless integration with other Google services, just as I have mentioned earlier. Uh, and familiar interface, I, I will I will share the slides. So yeah, but these are the main things. Uh, if you want to set up your uh, Google Sheets, uh, yeah, I can help you right now. Uh, we will see it. So any other questions or shall we move on? Others, uh, are there any questions from others? Okay, Shalom. Okay, um, I, I want to know if it's possible we have examples while doing the tutorial. So like we get yeah. like an example of how we can do this and do yeah. that for those, for, for those of us that don't have any background knowledge in data analytics and the use of 
Okay, okay. So let's move right uh, away to that. Okay. So uh, we're going to start from the start, from the beginning. So if, if there are no other questions, let's move on. I'm sorry, just one second. Okay. Okay. Can you see my, my, my screen? Or? everyone okay great so uh, i actually got the data that i'm going to show you from this site so it's not the same that, that i see you but just to give you a highlight of how you can do things so i just went to this site and downloaded the data uh, so i'm going to move on to creating my google sheet so you can see it here uh, from your go your Google account, you can select sheets. And you can start with blank sheet. Okay, so right now we can inside, uh, create a new file or import it. Since I have downloaded it, I'm going to import it. And I'm going to import uh, from my uh, local, from my PC, but since I've already done that, I'm going to import the data. So yeah, there you go. So this, uh, just to give a highlight about the data, uh, the data is from a company and it's uh, it shows uh, the name, the job title, the department, the gender, ethnicity, the business unit, age, higher date, annual salary, bonus, country, and city and if they have quit their exit date so this is the data we're going to do a simple uh, analysis it's a thousand uh, it's a the data for is a thousand rows long so yeah let's start so so let's start with a uh, bar plot we can easily start from let's see uh, how well uh, how much uh, uh, keep female and male uh, are in the company right uh, just as easy as that so i'm going to insert since i am using uh, this is uh, not a number i'm going to start by inserting a pivotal table and uh, the data is going to be the whole table and i'm going to be creating a pivotal table this is just another table from your table so just it, it makes it easier to, ana to the analysis. So uh, actually, here are some of suggested uh, like analysis by Google itself, but you can do it your yourself. So rows, let's select, uh, let's say, uh, department. So we're gonna we're not going to need the total, and for the column, we're gonna see the gender. And we are going to value it at uh, gender. So, as you can see, uh, it's showing me the number of female and the male in accounting, engineering, in every de department of the company, right? So, I want to see this in, uh, I want to visualize this. So, I'm going to insert a plot, and there you go. This plot shows the number of females, the male. Uh, you, from this key, you can see that the female is blue and the male is red, right? So in accounting, the number of female is this and the number of male is this. So there are more females in accounting than uh, uh, males. And But in engineering, they are more of the same or equal. So this is one analysis that you can do. Uh, just uh, from the count of each, gender in uh, the account of female and male from each gender. 
So you can play around with, with this. You can use pie chart, but this is more, uh, I think, ambiguous. So let's stick with this one, bar plot, right? So any questions here? Or am I too fast or too, too slow? Anything? Okay, so uh, if you have questions, just uh, uh, open your mic and speak. Okay, Salomon, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I have a question on okay. the pivot table. How can we do it? I think I missed uh, some step to create a pivot table. Okay, okay, we will go through it again. Um, okay, let's create another table in, in that case. So, um, okay, let's create, uh, let's, let's do ethnicity. So, we're going to insert and we're going to go with pivot table. And this shows us the entire table, right? From A1 to N1001 uh, means from A1 here up to n thousand means all the way here so th this means every uh, data there is available right so we're going to create it and this is a, our devoted table and we're going to uh, add the rows and the columns that we are going to need or use so let's go with um, anything you want uh, so i think there's a country right so from country we can use okay don't show me the totals and for the column uh okay let's go with okay ethnicity we can use it and for the value this means what we are going to value it against so ethnicity so this shows us the count right we can change this is the value to other things as well. So, so it show, show, shows us the count or how many are there from here, right? So uh, as you can see, blacks are all from USA and Asians are from China and USA and Caucasians are from USA and Latinos are from Brazil and USA, right? So th this is your table and you can choose to show this table into a chart. So this is a bar chart again, but you can change it here. But it's recommended to, to stick with, with this one because it's less cluttered. So Brazil is Latinos only, China is Asian only, and the, from the US, it's more of all of them, right? So the US say, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, can you hear me, uh, Leah? I think. Oh I'm yes. Sorry. yes. Oh, okay. Um, sorry to just take you back a bit. Um, okay. um, for you to get the chart, you went to. These three dots. Oh, okay, okay. Then uh, insert chart. So you're not going to need uh, to create people tables every time. Mm. uh you, you let's see an, another example for example let's uh, let's see if there is any relation between age and salary right so we can go to uh, here insert chart and we're gonna choose from here the chart type we're gonna choose scatter plot where is scatter plot here it is scatter plot and for the axis for the x-axis, we can choose edge. So edge is, okay, let's go to the top. And edge is here. So I'm going to select all of edge and okay. And for the series, I'm gonna choose the salary. So the annual salary, okay. So if, there is, oh, I left, I think, I left the chart here. So as you can see, you we cannot see any relation between the age and the salary. So there is no correlation. We can conclude that there is no correlation be, between the two data points. 
right? So this is one insight. Uh, am I clear, guys? I'm just showing you uh, based on what I can see in front of me, but you can play around with your data and other data just to ha have a hang of it, right? So uh, another one, just maybe one more. Uh, so I'm going to insert chart and I'm going to show you histogram. So I'm going to select histogram here and I'm going to see how well the salary is uh, distributed, right? So I'm going to raise this one and choose annual salary. So as you can see, it's not, uh, okay. I was, uh, okay, sorry. There are just a lot of tables here, okay. So the annual salary is not distributed. As you can see, it's just cluttered up on one point, but this is not right. Yeah, yeah here it is. So the histogram, as you can see it, it's not distributed evenly so it's not a normal distribution so if you if you can see it uh it's more cluttered here there are more pe pe people getting paid less than others so this is called skewed so skewed means skewed to the uh, left means so more people are getting paid less and the average people the average paid are less people so these are are the kind of insights that you might get from the data so from the histogram this is what i got right so play around with your data and come up with uh, this kind of insights yeah and you are good uh let, we can do one more i think uh gender so again insert table pivotal table and i'm going to create the whole from the whole data and just, I want to see the genders, right? So I'm going to select, oh. So the count of gender from each city or from each country, these are the suggested ones, so, sorry. So I can use pie chart. So I'm just going to select pie chart just to see how many females and males are there from all kinds of countries. So this kind of insights you can, these are just simple uh, charts that you can do just for example purposes. Uh, so any more questions? Okay, let me go through the comments. Okay, go ahead, Itari. Uh, another question is, uh, yeah. when um, I'm done with the spreadsheet, for example, yeah. I'm done with uh, part of work that uh, maybe I had committed to do today, yeah. will I need to save the work or it saves automatically? And how do I access the spreadsheet tomorrow? Yeah, uh, so that's the beauty of it. So the other thing that spreadsheets uh, make it easy is it saves automatically as you are working. So as you can see, it says here, uh, it's right, right? It's ticked right. It shows the cloud and it's ticked right. So this means it's already saved. Okay. So you can access this anytime you want. So just to show you, uh, let me create or open another tab and I'm going to, it's going to appear here, right? So this is the work that we are, we were doing. 
So you can see your plots and everything here. So it saves automatically as you are doing your work. Okay, thanks for that. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, uh, yeah, we will have, I think, another class or another session uh, about data analysis, and you are going to have uh, data cleaning and preparation session there. Okay, so do you have any other questions? Okay, is it clear? Is anyone having any ambiguity or was I fast? Okay. Okay, uh, Mohammed. Mohammed. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Mohammed, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you. The question I want to ask is that um, um, on the assignment that we're going to be giving, are we going to be giving the um, the um uh, i mean the relations that we should use for the graph or we're we going to figure it out from you know the main question that we we're supposed to work on uh how again uh, i mean um the assignment that the, the tax ahead with what you've just yeah. shown us like um yeah. the data visualization yeah. there's definitely going to be a relation else so you're not yeah. going to get the coordinate very well so in that assignment, are we going to be giving the relation to use in the data visualization or we just have to figure it out ourselves? Yeah, so uh, yeah, da data visualization, you're going to use this uh, just to have insights, right? So as, uh, as I've, I was going through the introduction, you are going to use data visualization in these tools, these different charts just to show the relation, it could mean the relation, the pattern, or the outliers, or any analysis you want to do, right? So, uh, yeah, you are going to come up with this yourself. Like, uh, as I've said, what do you want to do with the data? Like, what do you want to find out, right? So, do you want to find out the relationship between this and that? Or do you want to show uh, anything like uh, that paint? of a variable over time or over some period of time. So it's up to you, like, what do you want to do with the data or what do you want to find out? So if you know what you want to do and uh, what do you want to find out, these tools are there to help you with that. Uh, uh, am I clear or did I answer your question? Yes, thank you very much. I think this is the clear. Okay, okay, get ready. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Oh, something else. Uh, it's not directly related to this class. Uh, it's something okay, it's that okay. uh, I just came across on the Slack channel. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's about the CV submission. Do we just submit our CVs or? Um, no, not right now. Uh, you will be told when to do so. Okay. okay. Uh, I think they have your answer. Okay. Go on, Kim. So submission of CV is going to be the challenge for the careers uh, training tutorial. And you will have it uh, tomorrow. Um, so yeah, you can then submit the CV. But that will be the other challenge for the careers tutorial. Uh, Another question uh, is that th these classes are, are being recorded, eh? yeah. Uh, but I think we should create another channel for just the recordings. Eh? Thank you. Uh, the channel is only for re recordings, so all the recordings will be submitted or posted there. There is a channel for the recordings. No, no, the Ten Academy channel is mainly for storing the recording, posting the recordings. Okay, okay, okay. But so you I just... can see... <sighs> yeah. yeah uh, because yesterday, uh, I think I was use, using my schedule wrongly, so I failed to attend some sessions because 
I never knew when they were happening. Yeah, so uh, I just wanted to follow up on what was discussed yesterday. Yeah, they will be uploaded. I think uh, uh, two of them are have been already uploaded. Okay. And the rest will, will, will be uploaded in a while, like maybe a few hours. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Go on, uh, Munamin. Yeah, um, please, um, this is, I think um, uh, it should be known that there's a YouTube channel where the recordings have been posted, because I think that is what he's trying to ask for. There's a YouTube channel where the recordings have been posted for yesterday. I think yesterday, I also missed the class, but I had to go there and then catch up with the session that happened yesterday. So you can go to the YouTube channel. I think if um, the handle is given in the comment section or it's been mentioned so that everybody can familiarize himself with the channel for the meeting. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Kindly, where is the YouTube channel link? Kindly. Okay, I will. I will. Okay, it's posted in the comment section. So, other questions? I think I saw a couple of hands. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, I was going to say, if, uh, if there are no more questions, let me just quickly brush through it again, if we have that time. Um, just quickly. Uh, I don't think I heard you right. Uh, come again, please. Okay, so I said, uh, if there are no more questions, I was going to say, if I just quickly brush through it again, I mean, quickly. That is possible. Go through what, which ones, uh, the slides or the presentation, like the, the spreadsheets? The spreadsheets. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, but okay, let's do that. So, uh, which part are you specifically asking? I'm not. Um... Okay, I think when you put uh, the first thing you did have important things. Uh, the okay, data. the import, importing that data. So, yeah, and after importing data, I don't import the data. Okay, okay. Okay, let's just go through the importing part again, and let's just do one more um, example. So I just imported like uh, from the file tab, you can see import, you can, you're going to import. So you have uh, many options. So from your drive, that's already saved or shared with, with you from uh, through your email and recent, these are the files that you have recently used and you can upload from your PC or from your local machine. So whichever you use, you just select your data and if it, it will import it. So it will, it, it's going to ask you uh, to create a new spreadsheet or insert a new sheet or replace the spreadsheet. Let's replace, replace this one. So yeah, there you go. It's imported. So uh, for you guys, since it's already shared on your, uh, drive you can't just import it from there so share it with me and then technical content i think this folder is shared with you guys right or that data so from here you can see it these are your data points you can select them uh, create a new so let's insert into any sheet and import it But you can also download it and uh, use it or import it as I have show, showed you. Upload it to your machine. I think I am having network issues. Yeah. Okay. It got stuck. I think it's network issues, but yeah. So this is your data, right?
uh, okay questions or okay so you have imported it so the next thing you do is just draw some insights from them whatever you want to do so from the earlier data set so we have seen i think almost all of them um yeah let's go through the bar plot so i'm going to have to insert the pivotal table and create a new table from it from the whole data set and for this purpose let's just go to uh, gender by count of each cct eid so i don't need the total value so yeah i'm just going to create charts for this data and here we have a pie chart or bar chart you can see so we can see where most of the account the candidates are from so seattle or columbus so most of them are from usa and the least ones are from i don't know the city but maybe asia and so on so uh, they just uh, there is no limit to what you can do with, with this so depending on your data go through it and read about it so read about what each column means and just try to figure out what you want to do and use this uh, guide to do them so uh, did i answer your quick question yeah thank you thank you very much okay so any other questions Rabira. Rabia. Oh, sorry. Rabira. Okay. Did I no, say it right? I'm sorry, yeah. Okay. Uh, no problem. I don't have a question, but uh, I would like to say thank you for your great explanations. It's really clear and understandable. What I want to say is keep it up. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Salamon? Yeah. Um... I want to raise a question regarding uh, the analysis that we do. I think it's uh, depend on the Moonlight Energy Solution objective here, yeah? uh, the, the pivots that we made, and then all the coloring data or something like that. Uh, come again, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, the analysis that we do on the task one for instance okay. yes, it's about creating pivot table and then do the analysis part and then do the chart yeah. something like that i think it's based on the moonlight energy solution objective i think yeah of course of course it is okay, okay. so any other quick questions or is it clear or at least Can I get some reactions, <laughs> if it is? Okay. Okay, thank you. Gerard? Yeah, yeah. Can you just redo the, the deficit ratio? Just need to redo which one? The, the last one you just did. I'm not able to. Yeah, uh, I think it's okay because it's going to be posted in a while. So I don't think we need to redo it. You can check the videos. Okay. So I, I'm asking about the data you just used. I don't have access to it. The one I'm having here is. Replacement, like the weather that, that you just shared. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Uh, maybe type it in the chat box. So, Zanaba. So, I think uh, 
if you want we can do examples but i think it's enough for now but uh, go through the video and from i, I can share the, the data if you want just to have uh, play with it but and if you have further questions we can discuss it on slack so how does that sound then never okay so i think that's enough for now if there are no more okay there is no quick question so we can stop the recording the next team